So we had assignment in our power plant operators class uh, to build these little uh, simple electric motors, which I built this little one here. And we'll turn it on. This one goes really well. Works good. Uh, sometimes. There it goes. So that one's working well. Got some uh, good RPM going there. But, as quite often is the case with me, I decided to build something a little bigger. And that's the time trial set. I'll show you here. First time trial on the uh, AC Adam Cutter magnetic motor. Pretty simple design we're building in class. I built a little bigger one than originally spec. So you can see it's a pretty simple design. Coil of wire, some really powerful magnets, a couple batteries, on-off switch. Got my voltmeter hooked up to it. Running on uh, 1.2 volt DC right now. Okay, let's go ahead and fire it up again. There's my hand, just to give you a little perspective. Power on. Give it a little flip. Uh, one more time. Okay, I put in some fresh batteries as those ones were dead. It does eat up the batteries and we're now running on 1.623 volts. And I'm actually going to run an official time trial here. Well, I decided I better keep my uh, iPod well and away from that magnet right there. So I'm going to start it now. Power on. Start. Ah, come on. I do a little fine tuning there. I do have little tuning magnets on there which actually work pretty good. Okay, let's try this again. Power on. Start. There we go. RPM increasing. Yeah, looks good. Start the stopwatch. And away we go. First time trial. A couple things I've observed here. I uh, switched to these industrial batteries, which are uh, taking the strain a hell of a lot better. And uh, I actually have a little temperature thing here. Batteries are holding steady at about 80 degrees. The other batteries I were using was getting, they were getting as hot as uh, 110 before I had to shut it down. Another thing of interest here, the uh, voltage is really fluctuating a lot on this thing. Uh, under power, it's going up and down, which uh, kind of leads me to believe that it's generating a little bit of back voltage. Three minutes passed and uh, running along just fine. No signs of slowing down. I'm just going to leave it alone. They're very persnickety, I'm finding. Uh, sometimes it'll even reverse and run the opposite direction. But this one seems to like to run away from me as you're looking at it. A little over six minutes passed now. Still running along just fine. Holding it at a constant RPM. Let's check our battery temperature. Okay, so uh, batteries are starting to heat up some, as you can see. Starting to hit 90 degrees. Cruising along good and steady. Voltage is actually uh, increasing somewhat, off and on. One interesting observation is that uh, it doesn't work hardly at all without those uh, magnets on the end of the shafts there. They're actually just little magnets to help hold it in place. But it doesn't work nearly as well without them, so it leads me to believe they have something to do with how well it's working. They're really powerful little uh, neodymium magnets that are uh, polarized through their thickness. 
pull the eyes through the side. Speed is starting to fluctuate up and down a little bit. I think it's uh, encountering a little resistance on the stands here. I never did get those really perfect. You can see they wobble a little bit. But it's working pretty darn good. You can see the big, big ring magnet in the middle is uh, what's making it work this so well. I believe it's really powerful, really powerful magnet. And then I have uh, some more magnets on top of that, little disc magnets on top that I use as tuning magnets to adjust uh, the rotation. Seems to be working pretty darn good. Okay, just past 10 minutes. Still cruise along just fine. Voltage is uh, hanging in there around 0.8 volts operating. Batteries in the motor. Are starting to heat up but are doing fine. Time elapsed is just over 13. Okay, starting to get some pretty warm batteries going here. Let's see if I can get on that there. Spot radiometer, kind of hard to get on it. Definitely above 90, 94. This one over here. Ooh. Getting up there, over 100. Keep an eye on that. Okay, now we're up to 18 minutes. Come back on there. 18 minutes. Still running along. One thing I'm noticing, however, we're getting some pretty seriously hot batteries going here. Let's see. Let me get on that. She's starting to slow down a little bit. This battery over here was measuring over 100 degrees. Might be starting to die down a little bit, I think. Yeah, it looks like we're cooling off now, so... Running out of electrons. I think I'll probably get uh, a little extra credit for this, maybe, Ruling. What do you think, huh? 20 minutes now. 22 minutes, 54 seconds. Motor stopped, probably mostly because I went and screwed with it. A few observations now that we're stopped. The batteries are actually really starting to get up there in temperature. I saw as high as 110 degrees at one point. There we're stopped and we're still at 107. Oh yeah, that one got good and warm, didn't it? Now that we're stopped, the battery on the, or the voltage reading on the batteries is coming back up again. I imagine if I just let it rest for a minute, it'll start right up again. So I'm gonna eat. Okay, I'm going to see if it'll fire back up again. It wouldn't earlier. I think I may have drained the batteries down too much. There it goes again. Fine. Yeah, we'll call that good. Went ahead and started the clock again just because uh, really the only reason it stopped is I went and screwed with it. Just tried to get it to slide over a little bit. Kind of moves around in its axis. a little fine tuning to do yet. 26 minutes, 30 seconds. Eating dinner in the garage tonight so I can watch my motor go. Interesting to note that the voltage is actually increasing. Okay, so that is official. 30 minutes.
Also official, beef stew, cheese bread, really good. Motor still running. Beer, really good. Voltage. Whoa, look at that. Oh, it's going to stop. Oh, and there we go. A half hour.